the first episode of The Mandalorian was released simultaneously with Disney+. Plus. We got Matt and Caitlin here from Job of the Pod, Sci-Fi Wire's podcast about Star Wars, and we're going to talk all about it. So guys, I, there's probably so much, but what jumped out at you when you were watching The Mandalorian? Which is great because like we're seeing that side of Star Wars that we always wanted to see. It's yeah, like, undoubtedly, this is just building on a world that we already know, and it is absolutely beautiful. Even down to the transitions yeah, between the wipes scenes, and the, the it's fades. so it's yeah. oh, it feels so good. Totally. Yeah, like, this series feels like it's a little more grown up. It's mm -hmm. violent. It's a western. There's toilets. There's, There's toilets. <laughs> I mean, come on. I loved IG Eleven. Yes, who's voiced by Taika Waititi. Yes, yes. who keeps casting himself in these parts where you're just like, oh, yeah, you do that, Taika. Yeah. And then he's right. like a franchise star. Well, they, he stole the show immediately. He was definitely my yeah. breakout favorite character of The Mandalorian so far. I also love uh, Werner Herzog's character, yes. who is just right now known as The Client. Yeah. And he's like definitely like former Empire because he's like wearing a little Empire medallion yes, on him. Yes, exactly. And, like, and he's... he's got some stormtroopers exactly. in there. They're looking a little worse for wear. But... Yeah. 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 Do you want to know my theory? Okay. Yes, I do. This is psychotic. <laughs> uh, maybe it's not psychotic. I think we're gonna find out that he's like the Empire equivalent of some weird like South American, like the Nazis who went to South America and mm. were like, we will continue as a prod. Like I think we're gonna yeah. find out he's some weird mm. eugenics guy yeah. who wants to <laughs> yeah. like manufacture the force. Would you agree? Interesting. Yeah. I Thank like you. it. Thank <laughs> you. Okay. I, I mean, we know that the movement doesn't die because we get the first order later on. Yep. And he says yeah, that line, he's like, isn't it nice to restore the order of things? I'm not saying it right, but like something like that. I think he's going to be a scary dude. Yeah. Well, yes. speaking of the order of things too, we actually see a lot of the Mandalorian culture. Yeah. And yeah. That, so at least the beginnings of something. I feel like we're probably going to get more into it. We've seen a little bit of it in Clone Wars and yep. Rebels. Um, but this is the first time we see it in live action. First of all, first Mandalorian at all we see. And then we see more than one of them, yes. which was yeah. so surprising. I was yeah. not expecting that. Yeah. So it doesn't seem like they're being actively persecuted. He's allowed to walk around and look like a Mandalorian. What's the backstory there, do you think? I mean, I think they're like a little bit forgotten about in the yeah. galaxy. Like they're more like legend now at this point in the Star Wars timeline. It's been so long since they've been like such a powerful force in the galaxy. And yeah. you see those moments when the Mandalorian shows up and he goes, oh, yeah. Mandalorian. Oh, great warriors and all of that. And we saw right. some of the purge, which I would assume is the purge when the Empire kind of went in and took care of them and tried to take some of the Beskar steel from them. Yeah. yeah. And we're now getting some of that Beskar steel back, and we saw some flashbacks from our nameless Mandalorian hero right now. Yeah played by Petros Pascal. Yeah, and I don't know if that's the Empire attacking that planet because in the yeah. trailer, there's a few frames, if you like mm -hmm. look closely, that's actually like the droid army, oh, like the yes. Separatist army that's attacking yeah, their planet. So that would kind of put them like in Clone Wars era, you know, and that's Which would explain when... why he has a thing against droids. droids. Yeah. Exactly. All right, so now, fair warning to everyone watching, we are gonna get into spoiler territory now. So if you did not watch The Mandalorian, I why are you watching this? <laughs> we, we are warning you though, so you can't complain. Okay. Baby Yoda, baby Yoda. <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Baby Yoda. Okay, that's the big moment at the end. And yes. no one saw that coming. No. Like, it, and, like if there's no anyone one. out there that guessed that, please leave a comment and prove no. yourself. You're you're lying. Nobody you're lying. Us I don't yeah. believe you. Yeah. Well, we should clarify this can't be, well, Matt, well, it can't be it's not Yoda. Yoda. We just don't know what species Yoda is. So we're saying Yoda. Yeah. But yeah. their species yeah. doesn't have a name because right. George Lucas didn't give them one. Which is yeah. nuts. He has named everything. Even it's the creatures easy. that are being yeah. on a spit have yeah. a name. Yes, but Yoda doesn't have a name. But I respect the fact that George Lucas figured everything out except Yoda. And that was like the one thing that's still out there for someone to cherry pick and make he's a just like out. He's just like, I just want a green puppet. Yep. Just, yeah. just make it, make yeah. it happen. So maybe George Lucas is like flipping through his files and he's like, yeah. did I not? Yeah, yeah, yeah no, exactly. <laughs> like, I yeah, yeah. swear I did. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yoda yeah, yeah. Thing Wait a once. minute, yeah. There's a Google Doc somewhere. <laughs> so at the end of the episode, we see the Mandalorian shoot IG-11 in the head to save this baby Yoda species. And it's so cute. It's I, so cute. It's so cute. 
It's, oh my God. I mean, it's adorable. And it's probably like super force sensitive. Because uh -huh. I think that's the one thing we can gleam is that like we've only seen two of these species in Star Wars yes. and they're both like one they were both in the Jedi Council. Yep. So they're obviously they're something going on infant. with the force yes. there. Now yes. my crazy theory. Please. Mm. Bit of something theory. Crazy theory is the 50, he's 50 years old, right? Yeah. So if you go back, that kind of places it in the Clone Wars time era. Mm -hmm. So what if he's a clone of Yoda? Because I'd imagine that there were like, you, you know, you physicals at the Jedi days. Council. Like sure. you'd have to get your monthly physical. There's gotta be a vial of Yoda blood like sitting around, right? <laughs> you know, so what if they went back to Kamino and just made themselves a little Yoda and they were gonna try to raise him as like Darth Yoda. You know, I don't know. I gotta say, this fits in with my weird, freaky Werner Herzog is a uh, like yeah. scary eugenics empire exactly. guy. Exactly. Who's like, I, we, I think we can like make the force. Yeah. Which, look, I think is a great idea. It's nature versus line. nurture, right? I mean, like it's a you can just great plot line. It's also one. terrifying. It's yeah. so scary, but I think that is what who the client is tracking. Mm -hmm. Yes. That is. He wants this baby. He, they mostly wanted alive, but there was, you know, you could bring it in not alive because I understand that bounty hunting is a complicated thing. Yeah. But hey, if he, if they brought him in dead, and they just needed his, you know, cells to clone a new one. They could. Yeah. On with this clone. I'm cell. sorry, I can't help it. There's clones. It's a big deal. It could know. be. It could be. We covered a lot here, but there is so much more that we didn't get so to. Much. So much. So you guys can find Caitlin and Matt breaking down every episode of The Mandalorian on. Job of the Pod, available wherever you get your podcasts. Whatever corner of the outer rim you're <laughs> seeing your podcast. <laughs>